Hi everyone, Greg here. Now, today I've got a really nice international dish for you. I'm not sure where it's from, but it could be from somewhere far away. Now, it uses two of my favorite ingredients, beef and rice. And I'm doing it in one of my favorite kitchen utensils, the pressure cooker. So it'll take no time at all to cook and it'll keep all those flavors in together. Anyway, I've got the ingredients sitting over here. Let's take a look at what they are. Not many really, just like some carrot, beef and onion, garlic, some spices, rice and my best mate, butter. And there's heaps of it too. What more do you want? Let's start cooking. So for starters, let's turn on the saute feature and get this nice and hot inside. Now I am adapting this from another recipe and I hope I get the rice and water mixture all right. God, if it doesn't turn out, then I'm gonna look like a real goose. Anyway, let's hope it does. Fingers crossed, uh, let's start praying. All right, so let's add some oil in the bottom of this to get this started. And I've got some beef here, which I've cut up. Now I've got the cheap stuff, cheap beef here. You can use the good stuff if you like. That's about half a kilo's worth which is about a pound. Of course, you can use more if you want. I know I would if I was me. And we want to get this nice and brown. Brown, my pretties. Brown. How now, brown cow? <laughs> That's not funny. Okay, so now once that beef is browned, we'll chuck in one diced up onion. Not half a one, a whole one. And we'll just cook that onion until it's a little bit translucent. Or as we say here in Australia, a bit cooked. Right, so now that onion's a bit cooked, it's time to introduce three carrots, which I've cut up. Onions, meat carrot, carrot, meat, onion, and beef. They're good mates, so you should join them. Good on you. Mix that in. And now it's time to add our spices. Half a teaspoon of coriander. Half a teaspoon of cumin, or as some people call it, cumin. And half a teaspoon of paprika. Andale, andale. Let's also whack in about the same amount of pepper. Oh yeah, give that a good mix. Oh man, that smells so good. Now I might just crack some salt into there as well. May as well. Can you see me through all this steam? I certainly hope so. Because now it's time to add my best friend, butter. Oh yeah, I love this stuff. And I got four tablespoons worth too. I think I'll be later on that's for sure so let's add in this butter oh mate i think it's too much said no one ever but that butter will give this recipe the creaminess that it deserves and help lubricate the arteries righty -o, time to turn off that saute feature ah oh, wrong button yeah that's the one now it's time to add our good friend white rice and I'm going to pour over the top this white rice two and a half cups worth. This is where you might need a tradesman to get this nice and level. Make sure you get your spirit level out and get it really nicely layered. Don't mix it through though. Just spread it over the top. She'll be right mate. She'll be right. And you're probably wondering, what happened to our good mate, Head of Garlic? <laughs> Funny you should ask. He's getting cut right down the guts. Oh, God. Oh, you might need a chainsaw. You haven't got any muscles. Oh. oh. You could almost like stick that in a vase or hang it on a wall or something. Isn't that gorgeous? Except that it's uh, growing in the middle, <laughs> but that's okay. At least we know it's real, I hope. And what we're gonna do with this garlic is just like shove it in. Push it down a little. 
And now I've got two and a half cups of beef stock here. Now I had two and a half cups of rice, so two and a half cups of beef stock. And we'll just gently pour that like over the garlic, not to disturb the rice too much. Pretend that garlic's like a, a rock under a waterfall. Well, it started to float. So what's the point of me even pushing it down? But let me just poke some holes in there. And hopefully that'll let the garlic flavor seep down. Did I mention this was gonna be garlicky? <laughs> well, I am now. Alrighty, so let's whack the lid on. If you can figure out how to. We'll make sure this is set to seal. And let me hit the pressure cook button to rice. Hopefully that's the right one. And start. And now we just have to sit back and wait to, for that to cook. <laughs> I might just try twiddling my thumbs. Oh, 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 there goes the timer. Thank goodness, my thumbs are getting sore. Okay, it's time to release the lid. I hope your fingers are still crossed. Let's hope this has turned out. Oh, how do you even just... Too bad the camera lens steamed up because you're missing out on this. So now we just need to remove these bits of garlic. Oh my god, they're hot! What you can do is uh, like squeeze the garlic out into the mix if you want. Oh god! I might use this. I'll put a few of these garlics back. I mean, that's going to be really garlicky. <laughs> yes. And let's give it a mix through. Oh man, that looks so good. That rice looks like it's cooked perfectly and it's a really nice consistency as well. Oh boy, right. How about we plate some of this up? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, oh man, this smells so good, you got no idea. Let me just finish it off with a little bit of chopped parsley on top. There you have it. A delicious pressure cooked beef pot rice. Hoo wee! Can't wait to dive on in for the old taste, taste test. test. It's got so much butter and garlic in there. I can't wait to taste it. Alrighty, let's give this a go. Oh yes. Come to daddy. Mmm. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow, the flavors in that are so nice. It's got that real nice buttery taste, of course. I added enough. Strangely enough, it's not overpowering with garlic either. You can hardly even taste it. Although I wouldn't be going out trying to kiss boys and girls later on. They might not like it. In fact, if you do want to do that, give them a bowl first. The beef here, It's the chuck steak, which is like the cheapest one you can get. It's just melting in my mouth. The subtleness of those herbs in there as well, mate. This is an absolutely beautiful dish and I know you're gonna love it. So make sure you make it. You'll definitely impress someone at least. And if you made it for me, I would be definitely impressed, that's for sure. So if you do make it, I'd love to know how yours turns out. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do cooking and food reviews, so it's the best of both worlds. Make sure you thumb this video up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for my next recipe right here on Greg's Kitchen. See you then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is Greg's Kitchen. Where today I made a delicious beef, rice, carrot, herbs, something. I don't know what it's called, but I'll tell you what it tastes. Delicious! Ooh, yeah!